Hey everybody, it's Gloria Tees with Real People Realty, or some of you may know me as Glow, as in hashtag Glow with Glow. Today's Formation Friday is going to be with Jesse, who is the owner of Salvage Grooming Salon. And he's going to give us some tips on, especially with COVID, on what we could do at home to kind of have like a date, right? Home day spa? Yeah, right? Okay. Tell us, tell us, Jesse. Okay, so some awesome things that we all have in our kitchen that we can give ourselves a little glam, a little spa moment. We know we're all a little afraid to go back to the salon or your salon may not be open. So here's some things you have in your kitchen that you can turn out your skin and your hair. So first thing, we all got bananas, right? Mm -hmm. Bananas are high in potassium, vitamin A, B, C, and E. So what you can do is if you have a ripe banana, there's a couple different things you can do. So we can do um, one ripe banana, a teaspoon of OJ, and a teaspoon of yogurt, and that is a great anti-aging face mask. So we just mix it all together. Yep, mash up the banana, add your thing, whip it up, put it on your face, leave it on for about five minutes, rinse off with cold water, wham, bam, you'll feel the tightness from the potassium. Wow. It's a little lifting. The OJ obviously is acidic, so it helps remove any oil, any bacteria on your face, and so does the lactic acid in yogurt. Wow. Yep. So would, would this be like getting like a facial at a salon? Yeah, like it'd, the be, it, they do? it'd be so like getting... You, I could do like a yogurt, banana and oj oj and here you could pay like 120 dollars for a facial when you could just do this at home Blue, yes anti-aging mm -hmm. awesome so that's anti-aging anyone that suffers from uneven skin tone or age spots so mm -hmm. like dark spots on your face same thing you can do one ma uh, ripe banana mash it up instead of oj do a teaspoon of lemon juice and then a teaspoon of honey and the honey's gonna be a little bit more stickier, but so you the honey is it moisturizing. It's a natural humectant. Okay. Um, it's also antibacterial. Back in the day, you used to use honey to treat wounds. Okay. Because it's antibacterial, and of course, the lemon juice is brightening. So the same thing. Leave it on what five minutes? Yep, five minutes. Rinse off. Just take it off. Yep. And the last one is anyone that is dealing with acne. Okay. Um, so that is a smaller banana, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then a half a teaspoon of turmeric. Put it all together again. And I'm sure we've all had our grandmas pull out the baking soda, put it on a bug bite, put it on a burn because baking soda is anti-inflammatory, which reduces swelling from the acne. And it's also antiseptic. So it helps fight the bacteria that the acne is from. And my trainer is always like, there's a drink he does and he's always having turmeric. this. That, like mm -hmm. with the turmeric that it's so good for you. Turmeric's super anti-inflammatory, anti-free radical, um, all of the ant good, great antis. <laughs> it's definitely one of those. So one thing I wanted to ask you about, the second one you told us about, mm -hmm. can people also use that for bags under their eyes? Or is that just like uh, sp aging spots? Um, it's more for aging spots. I wouldn't use it for bags because you wouldn't want to necessarily put the lemon juice that close to your eye. Because okay. when you think about face masks, usually you keep them off around your eye area because that's so sensitive. Okay. Um, one thing that is great though for the under eye area is cucumber. Okay. Because that's moisture and... Um, helps reduce the swelling. That helps the puffy. Not so much the color, but it helps the puffy. Okay. Yep. Another thing, just you could probably have in your kitchen, cut up some cucumber. Yeah, all the stuff you're probably gonna have in your fridge or the things you're like, oh crap, I forgot to use that in my salad. What am I gonna use it for? Now you can use it on your face. Wow. And okay. now the last thing is, um, I'm sure we've all been doing a little hair color at home. No judgment, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do. But I'm sure hair probably feels a little crispy. So what you can do is go into your fridge, I'm sure everyone has this, is mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Mayonnaise makes an excellent hair mask because you think about it, mayonnaise is predominantly just eggs and oil. Okay. Eggs has protein, which helps rebuild any damage from coloring or blow drying or flat ironing or, or whatnot. And then oil is super moisturizing. Usually it's canola oil or vegetable oil, okay. which is fantastic for moisturizing your hair. So just those two things. Mix them up together. The no, it's just, oil. just mayo. mayo. That's oh, what's just mayo. mayo by yeah. itself. Yeah. Okay. Because then... mayonnaise is predominantly, well, there's usually a little vinegar, but it's usually vinegar, mayonnaise, and oil. So or... I just take that, put it all over my hair. Yep. Paint it on like a mask. Don't use Miracle That's not real mayo. Use real mayo. <laughs> Paint it on your hair. Wrap it up. Put like a shampoo cap or just tie your hair up. Leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes and then shampoo rinse out. Wow. And this is, you know, especially like you said, in COVID times, these things that you could do at home that mm -hmm. are so simple, wouldn't take that long to do and can save you probably some good money. Save you lots of money, draw a bath, throw in a bath bomb, paint your face, put some mayonnaise in your hair, put on some, you know, Enya, some spa music, wham Get down. it, light a candle. <laughs> yeah. Have a whole spa day at home. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope this information was useful to you. If you would like any information 
uh, where Jesse, you can find him at, at his business. My contact information is on this page. I can put you in direct contact with him. And if you just have, uh, in general, real estate questions, let me know. I'm here to help. I'll see you guys next month. Thanks. See ya.